In this video, we are going to look at how to multiply and divide thirds. So let's start off with an example, then we'll have some more context. Let's say we have 3 root 5 and we're multiplying that by 4 root 3, let's say. Now, the way we multiply and divide thirds is quite similar to algebra. So similarly, if we had something like 3x and we're multiplying that by 4y, let's say, the way we do this is, first of all, we start off by multiplying our coefficients. So we have 12 and then we just have x, y, OK, because the x and y's are multiplying themselves. It's quite similar for thirds. What we'll do is we'll start off by multiplying our coefficients. And similarly, we're also going to multiply each of the thirds as well. So let's see what that looks like. We have 3 root 5 times 4 root 3. So what we'll do is we'll multiply our coefficients. So 3 multiplied by 4 is going to give us 12. And then underneath the root, we're going to have 5 multiplied by 3. So in total, our answer is going to be 12 root. 5 times 3 is going to be 15. Don't need all of that. So that's it. All we're doing is we're just multiplying the coefficients outside the thirds by each other, followed by multiplying the coefficients inside the thirds by each other. OK, let's have a look at another example. Let's say this time we have 4 root 3 and we're going to multiply that by 12 root 11. In this case, same thing. We know that 4 multiplied by 12 is going to give us 48. And we know that 3 multiplied by 11 is going to give us 33. Let's look at another example. Let's say we have minus 5 root 5 and we are multiplying that by 2 root 10. We know that minus 5 times 2 is minus 10 and we know that root 5, sorry, 5 multiplied by 10 is going to give us 50. So then therefore we have 10 root 50. Now I've chosen this example here to illustrate something else. We always need to check to see that the number, the third itself, is in its simplest form. So with 50, we know that 25 times 2 is equal to 50. So therefore, we can simplify 50 down so that we have 50 is equal to root 25 times root 2. We know that root 25, that being a square number, is 5, so we know Root 50 is the same thing as 5 root 2. So in other words, we're not done with this question yet. Let's keep going. Rather than having minus 10 times root 50, we're going to have minus 10 times, and I'll just put this into brackets so you can see a bit easier, times 5 root 2. Then we can continue on with multiplication. We just multiply the minus 10 by the 5. So we have minus 50, minus 50 root 2. 2. Excellent. So that's multiplication. Okay, we've looked at multiplication. Now let's look at division. Let's look at the example 3 root 2 divided by 4 root 5. Now, this is quite similar. Rather than multiplying the terms, this time we're just going to divide. So it's quite helpful to start off by writing this as a fraction where we have 3 root 2 on the numerator and then 4 root 5 on our denominator. And here, then what we do is we'd see if we can actually simplify anything down. So 3 divided by 4 can't really simplify that down to anything less. And then if we were to divide 2 by 5, we can't really simplify that down to anything less either. So probably just be left with 3 on 4 and then root 2 on 5. Let's pick an example where we can simplify down just so we can have a look. Let's say we have 10 root 4. And let's say we're dividing that by 2 root 2. So for this one, start off by writing it as a fraction. We have 10 root 4 all over 2 root 2. Then we can simplify down. We know 10 divided by 2 is 5. And we know 4 divided by 2 is 2. So then we just end up with 5 root 2. And let's consider a final example. Let's say we have 60 root 21. And we're dividing that by 6 root 7. So once again, let's start off with writing it as a fraction. We'll have 60 root 21 on top divided by 6 root 7 as a fraction on the bottom. We know 60 divided by 6 is 10 and then 21 divided by 7 is 3. So we're just left with 3 over here. 
Okay, excellent. That is how you divide thirds. As you can see, sometimes they can get a bit messy if we're left with fractions that can't simplify it down. Other than that, same process applies. Again, with multiplication, we're multiplying the terms on the outside and then the terms on the inside by each other. Division, same thing, but obviously we are dividing instead of multiplying.